right, guys, we've got the Ion Pathfinder 320. You can see that. <laughs> Going up against the On Large Party Speaker. Now, if some of you may have seen some other videos I did on the On Speaker, mine will no longer play off the battery. So, run these off the power inverter, but we're going to do them out here, tailgater style. Let's go. Okay, so hopefully the wind won't play too much havoc with this. The on large party speaker, like I said, if you've seen some other videos, the battery doesn't work on mine anymore, it won't charge. It's kind of developed like a like a static sound too, just while it's sitting doing nothing. It's kind of like a, like a little humming static. You can probably kind of hear it right now, even from here. So anyway, it's a cheaply made piece of crap. We're gonna put it up against the Ion Pathfinder 320. So that speaker actually has the mid, it has a mid, mid range speakers that fire off kind of to the side. So they don't really come all at you. But we're gonna start this at 40%. Both of these speakers, the ION has like a boom mode or something where it enhances the bass, that's off. With the on party speaker, the bass boost is off. So we'll do this first and then we'll switch the settings on them and see what we got. We're gonna start at 40% with the on, on the right. Here we go. Ion. On. 40% the ion sounds much fuller. Ion on the left. It's a little on the boomy side. Ion. On just sounds really weak. A little tinny. Ion. Left. Let's go up to 60%. On on the right. Pathfinder on the left. Still louder. On on the right. Pathfinder left. That's way, way deeper, way louder. On on the right. It's up to 80%. Pathfinder left. Back this up a little bit. On on the right. So up to hundred percent. Pathfinder left. On on the right. Pathfinder left. 
Pathfinder left. So you can get up to 100% there, the on catches up as far as output goes. The on large party speaker is also brighter. Has a little bit of a tinny sound. The on compared to the Pathfinder bass wise, at least of this setting, the Pathfinder 320 on the left definitely has a fuller sound. Sounds a little, a little flabby sounding. It's not real tight, but it definitely has more bass. So I'm going to change the EQ settings on these and we'll run this song back again. Okay, so what I did with the I, the Ion Pathfinder, I didn't put the boost mode or whatever that is on it, but it has a three, you can go highs, mids, and lows. You can adjust those separately. So I adjusted the highs up to six from zero, the mids two, and the bass three. Basically when you put that boost mode or whatever it's called, it just raises the bass three. So with that three band EQ, you're able to adjust the mids and highs also. So that's what I did. And then with the on large party speaker on the right, I put it in its bass boost mode. So we're gonna start at 60%. Here we go. This is the Pathfinder 320 on the left. On on the right. 60% so definitely not as loud or as full. Pathfinder 320. On the on on the right. Pathfinder left. Much, that much bass may be a little too much for it. Kind of sounds like it's breaking up a little bit. On on the right. We'll back this down to 60. That's 60. Pathfinder There you go guys that's the pathfinder 320 from ion on the left against the on large party speaker both of these are budget speakers you can get them for you know 100 150 bucks something in, in that range i think overall i like the ion better because it has a three band eq you can change it has a fuller sound to it now like i said the mid-range drivers are kind of firing off to the side so you're not really getting the full effect of that the way it's sitting like that so it'd kind of be better if you had it sitting more out away from something. The on large party speaker, like I've said before, it's it can be a little tinny sounding. It doesn't really have much lower bass. Even compared to the eye on the budget speaker, it doesn't have as full of sound. And to me, it just sounds kind of meh. I mean, I've never been too impressed with it. It'll get brighter than most speakers, so that kind of makes it louder, but you can tell at different volumes it was much lower than the ion. Until you, when you get up to about max volume, then they kind of even out. So if you're running at max volume, you could probably get by with saying they're comparable in their output. But like I said, I, a lot of these other videos I've done, I say, you know, if you put two of these in front of me and said, pick one, I like the ion better. Or, yeah, the, the Ion Pathfinder 320 on the left. I like it better. And it does also have a telescopic handle that pulls out and wheels, which the On large party speaker also has. But it's a little easier to carry around because you can see it's a little bit smaller and has a bigger handle on the top to grab hold of. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I think if you can get an On large party speaker that'll work, I think that's the biggest, probably the, the biggest downfall is they're just not reliable. 
I've seen a lot of people having problems with them reported like I have where the battery won't play or the thing just completely craps out. Like I said, I don't use mine hardly ever. And now it's already developed like a little static buzz just when it's sitting doing nothing. So build quality, not the greatest. Of course, Ion, that's another, that's another cheap brand. So who knows how long it'll last. But again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'm glad spring is here because I've been tired of winter. Like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Stay tuned for more videos to come. That's a wrap.